So let's, let's kind of talk about what you've seen out of, out of your guys at corner so far again. Well, it's a process, you know, but the thing is we're running, you know, two or three more packages than we had last year because we got a little bit more depth. So we're able to train the cornerbacks in several different defenses, several different positions, you know. We're able to put two and three deep right now at the nickel position, which last year, I mean, we barely had enough for one, one nickel, you know. But uh, being able to do that, it's allowing a lot of the young guys to step up and play. And, uh, you know, it's creating a lot of depth throughout the defense right now. So, you know, moving Nico Thorpe <clears throat> back to the safety position. To go with Demetrius McNeil gives you a lot of speed, a lot of size back there. Enrique Florence is coming on. He's showing that same type of ability. You know, big, strong, fast kid. You know, Trent Fisher's having a heck of a count so far. Ryan Smith's coming around back there to safety. So it's allowing us to take people like a T-Bell, Jermaine Whitehead, you know, Robeson Theresi and train them in a nickel position. And it still gives us depth at the corner because you're still, you know, sitting there with Chris Davis at one side. You know, you're able to play Ryan White, which had to play last year at the other side, along with, you know, John Mincy. Jonathan Rose, so it's given us some depth there. Is there any of those young guys in particular that have stood out to you? Oh, yes. In fact, all of them uh, really have. They've, they've come in and uh, way ahead of the curve, you know. Uh, the, the three that come in last year all had to play. You know, they had to uh, help us in some way. Uh, the three that we have this year, to be honest, are probably a little ahead of where those were last year. Are they there yet? No. But, you know, the process has been a lot faster. Coach Thigpen was talking the other night about Terezi and saying he's kind of like a revolutionary type of prospect, like, you know, the type of prospect that you would recruit to be a cornerback in the future. I mean, what what does he mean by that? What is he? The quicks, the hips, uh, the body, he's built strong. You know, and athletically he can do things and turn and make plays that you can cut off certain parts of the field. You know, and the whole thing is, you know, there's a speed that they're playing with today. You, you have got to be open to cut certain things off. You know, you've got to have an open stance out in the open field to, to, to be open to run with these guys. Well, when they double move you, you better have the hips to adjust and be able to turn what we call speed turn or baseball turn. Uh, you've got to be able to do that out in the open field, and he has that ability. Phil, how did the young guys handle the first half full pads? You know, I, th I thought the leadership was great. You know, I, I thought the guys that had been here before, and going through all the ball games we did last year really helped in that aspect of it. Uh, and I think they're adjusting well. Like, What have you seen from Jonathan Rose so far this fall camp? First few days? Jonathan's doing a very good job. He had an interception out there today. He's tall and lanky, but still got the good hips and able to run. So, you know, he's going to get the ball lifted a little bit more, like a Carlos Rogers and some of those guys that has that height that's able to still turn their hips and play. Because a lot of times when you get that height, you don't have that quickness or the feet of a smaller guy that's closer to the ground, you know? Uh, when you do, it's something special. So, you know, we all try to get that height. It's just very rare and hard to find you know, at that position. Talking with T-Bell a couple of times, he's kind of, he's brought up, you know, himself when people used to call him soft and how much that bugged him. I mean, what, why do you think that bugs him so much? You know, uh, I, we've had a lot of guys that come in here with that reputation, especially when they didn't play that position in high school. Let's say they played quarterback, wide receiver. And they say, well, they've got the hips, they've got the speed and the quicks, but they're a little soft, this, that, and other. And T-Bell knows, he, he went through the process here. When he first come in, we kind of tell them that sometimes, you know, if they're not doing exactly what we want. And, uh, and uh, most of the time they're going to compete. They're all competitors. You know, they're all competitors. And, and they will uh, usually give you what you coach and what you ask for. And uh, that's what we want. Here's our guys to be physical, and that's what we stress.